guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Becca and today I have an unboxing of the October Owl Crate. If you guys are unfamiliar with the Owl Crate at all, they are a monthly US-based young adult bookish subscription box. There is usually a fantasy or sci-fi hardback in here, although there are occasionally other genres, and a whole host of bookish goodies. So this box has been very kindly sent to me by the team over at Owl Crate, so thank you so much Owl Crate for sending this my way. I do really love Owl Crate boxes. And if you guys would like to get your hands on your very own Owl Crate after watching this video, I am a rep and I do have a code for you guys. My code is Becca and that will get you a discount on your purchase. Now this month's box, I believe the theme is Legends and Law. I don't think I know what the book is this month. So I'm really excited, especially for the theme and it's about time we cracked this open. Okay, so the monthly pin has already thrown itself at me, but yes, I was right. The theme for this month is Legends and Law. There is the spoiler card art, and there are the spoilers. I don't read these, but if you guys would like to, you can pause and have a look what's in here. Okay, so the item that threw itself at me every month in Elk Crate, there is a pin. It's kind of like a bonus item, and they have a whole range of different designers that design the pins, and they are usually related to the book of the month so this month's pin says when the shadows rise so will the light and this one was designed by hey atlas creative so getting all the fluff off the top of the box let's see what we got in here the first item is a fabric item which is this <laughs> it's a bookish bowl cozy oh that is actually really handy so the idea for this is that if you have a hot bowl of soup or something like that which is hot to hold you can put the bowl in the cozy and then you don't burn your hands this is genius i is this a thing that exists because i've never seen one of these before but the amount of times i bundle a bowl in like a tea towel and open close because i can't touch it is ridiculous oh my god and the design on this i don't know if i actually showed you the design but this one is inspired by spin the dawn by elizabeth lim and was created by janine lacour so next up we have this. This is a Solstasia Festival L Crate exclusive plant based soap bar. The spoiler card says that this one was inspired by Songs of Wraith and Ruin. The creator of this is Motherland Essentials. And look at the swirl on that. Fun fact I used to make soap. It's hard. It's really damn hard, so I stopped. But I do love handmade soap. That smells really good as well. It's like a really fresh scent. Then we have. This box of rattly things. It says everything always seems sweeter in the minute before darkness descends. Hand these beautiful wind chimes near an open window and fall asleep listening to their music dance across a nighttime breeze. Inspired by Woven in Moonlight by Isabel Ibanez. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry about the audio guys. There's nothing I can really do about it. I did it. I'm not sure where exactly this bar is supposed to hang. But wow. And as you can tell makes a beautiful noise that's really cool our next item this is great actually really helpful this says i don't want an easy life i want a meaningful one and it is inspired by girls of paper and fire which is a series i really like and it is a glass nail file i love glass nail files i just find that they're the superior kind crystal's good too though and on the edge of this it says fire in fear out our next item no matter where we are, we'll always share the same sky. We can always find each other in the same constellation. And this is inspired by the Star Touch Queen by Rashani Chokshi. I am already impressed with the items in here. Just because they're all, so far, like, really unique items for subscription boxes. This one is a tablet or phone stand. Let me see if I can figure this out. Okay. Okay, I have it. It says, show me a dream unrealized. And as you can imagine, with it being a phone stand, you just pop your phone on there, however you want, or your tablet. The next thing we have is really cool. I'll just cover the bottom of it. But this is a voucher for an audiobook from Libro FM of Ray Bearer, which I've never received one of these in a subscription box before, but that is a really cool idea. I'm just gonna take the book out so I can get to the things in the bottom. The theme for next month's Elk Crate is Growing Wild, and the item reveal for next month is a reading planner. 
that. I believe that I'll create do a reading planner every year. I did get the one last year. They are super great actually for tracking reading. They have like space for your monthly TBR, your wrap up and like individual review pages and stuff. It's really cool. We also have in here the monthly I'll create newsletter that has the Spotify playlist and also the word search. And then just before we get to the book, we also have a sneak peek at We Free the Stars by Hafsa Faisal, which I believe is the sequel to We Hunt the Flame. So the book for this month is wrapped in plastic. Let me just find my scissors without actually seeing the book. I hate doing this because I don't want to damage it. Okay, so this month's old crate book is... Legend Born by Tracy Dion. Wow, okay. So first off, every L Crate edition is exclusive. So I will overlay the original cover over the top so that you can see the difference. This is a book that I don't know much about, but I've heard a lot of people screaming about how good this is. So it has definitely been on my radar. I kind of, when people say that a book is really good, like they have about this, I tend to just not bother looking into what it's about especially if it's fantasy because i assume i would be interested in it anyway and just go with the not necessarily hype i wouldn't say it's a hyped book but it has definitely been spoken of very well online this edition is also signed by the author underneath the dust jacket it has the symbol and oh as you can see it also has some very pretty under dust jacket art which says this is your beginning and then as well as all that we do also have a letter from the author as well so as i don't know anything about this book i'm going to read you guys what it says on the inner dust jacket after her mother dies in an accident 16 year old brie matthews wants nothing to do with her family memories or childhood home a residential program for bright high schools at unc chapel hill seems like the perfect escape until brie witnesses a magical attack her very first night on campus a flying demon feeding on human energies a secret society ooh, of so-called legend born students who hunt the creatures down and a mysterious teenage mage who calls himself a merlin and who attempts and fails to wipe brie's memory of everything she saw the mage's failure reveals brie's own unique mind Magic and a buried memory with a hidden connection. The night her mother died, another Merlin was at the hospital. Now that Brie knows there's more to her mother's death than what's on the police report, she'll do whatever it takes to find out the truth, even if that means infiltrating the Legend Born as one of their initiates. She recruits Nick, a self-exiled Legend Born with his own grudge against the group, and their reluctant partnership pulls them deeper into the society's secrets and closer to each other. But when the Legend Born reveal themselves as the descendant of King Arthur's knights and explain that a magical war is coming, Brie has to decide how far she'll go for the truth and where that she should use her magic to take the society down or join the fight oh my god this sounds amazing so not only is it a young adult fantasy by a black author with a black main character it's also arthurian legend honestly i'm really excited to read this like i said i've heard great things and i hope i also love it so what is my favorite item from this month's box i don't think i can give you an answer to that everything is just super useful like every item i think in this box aside from the winter is a usable item which is what i really love about this month's box i think i'm gonna get the most use out of this and i do also i have a small like cheap phone stand on my desk so i will replace it with this one um but yeah i do i just really love everything about this month's box i think it's a really solid box and i really like the book selection as well please let me know down in the comments what is your guys favorite item from this box a big thank you once again to l crate for sending me this box if you would like to get your very own l crate as i mentioned at the beginning of this video the link to their website all of their social media and also my discount code will be in my description box for you guys but aside from that please don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to if you head into my description box you'll find a link to my goodreads instagram and twitter if you'd like to follow me on any of those as well as a link to my bookish body butter and candle website the instagram for that and a 10 percent off discount code so that's it from me today guys bye oh we bite your friend like chocolate you say you're a go when nobody knows with guns in under our petticoats. We're never gonna quit it, no, we're never gonna quit it, no.